did they do wrong? Oh, it's a big, long list, actually. But amongst other things, they uh, falsely accused me of the criminal act of blasphemous libel for blogging about uh, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers. Um, so, essentially threatened me with criminal charges for blogging about uh, clergy sexual misconduct um, and doing so betraying not only every single principle of Unitarianism, but also betraying the centuries old tradition of opposing blasphemy laws. I'm a unique uh, position of being accused of blasphemy in the 21st century by Unitarians. So, <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a joke, it's hilarious, it really is. <laughs> but it's also serious, you know, it's, it's, this yeah. is a a perversion of justice, as you can see on the sign here. Yeah, I hope the pedophilia wasn't in, uh, in uh, Beth Province, was it? Uh, not the ones that I spoke about, no. Uh, but it doesn't matter where it is. What, what matters is that the Unitarian Universalist Association goes to extreme lengths to hide it, uh, even going so far as to falsely accuse someone of a crime in an effort to intimidate them into shutting up about it. So, <laughs> I just got a thumbs up from this woman. Uh, I don't know if that showed up in the video. I think it might have, actually. Um, so, uh, so this uh, woman shows up in a taxi with a male partner, male companion, possibly her husband. I'm um, trying to be very politically correct here. You never know these days. Um, so, uh, you know, she asked me, you know, what did they do? Uh, she's looking at a picket sign that says unsafe sect. Looking at a picket sign that says Unitarian Universalist Perversion of Justice Sucks You Ask With You. And so I mentioned the most egregious perversion of justice uh, that I have, you know, personally experienced by a Unitarian Universalist. I, I'm sure other people have, uh, have also uh, suffered quite, you know, even in some ways more serious perversions of justice. I, I would say that uh, certainly, you know, some of the victims of uh, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape uh, committed by Unitarian Universalist ministers uh, also. Uh, in fact, I know for a fact that, uh, that some of them you know, when they sought justice, uh, were responded to in a manner that can be properly described as perversion of justice. Um, in fact, uh, in terms of, you know, publicly available information, um, there was a young woman, I believe her name was Amanda Tweed. She was attending a, a Unitarian Universalist uh, uh, fellowship in Pennsylvania. And uh, she was sexually assaulted by the minister of that uh, Unitarian Universalist uh, Fellowship in Pennsylvania. And uh, when she sought justice within the context of the Unitarian Universalist religious community, uh, i.e., you know, by complaining to the uh, Unitarian Universalist Association, uh, she was uh, told that uh, the minister who she was complaining about was threatening legal action against her. Um, so, you know, here's this woman who's, you know, claiming to have been sexually assaulted by a Unitarian Universalist minister. She's seeking justice, perhaps not within the criminal justice system, which, you know, may be a mistake, actually. Um, but within the church, you know, within the policies and procedures for dealing with uh, clergy sexual misconduct, and she's essentially told, well, you know, the minister's going to sue you if you continue along this path. Um, so I'd say that's a uh, perversion of justice, and this information is available in the uh, uh, Barry Street lecture that uh, Gail Seavey delivered uh, at the uh, 2016 Unitarian Universal Association uh, General Assembly. So it's not something that I'm just, uh, you know, making up. I don't make shit up. Not like some Unitarian Universal do. Pretty much everything I say publicly about Unitarian Universalists is very solidly supported by evidence because I don't want to be accused of, uh, or at least credibly accused of, libel or slander. You know, I, I'm protecting myself from such uh, 
accusations by being very, very careful to tell only things that I know are very, very solidly supported by evidence. I mean, if I wanted to start on with all kinds of rumors and so on, there's all kinds of stuff I could talk about in terms of what uh, the Unitarian Universalists would try to write off as uh, unsubstantiated rumors. It's a term they like to use. Um, well, unsubstantiated doesn't mean false. Unsubstantiated means that they haven't actually been proven. But it doesn't mean that they're false rumors. But I, in any case, I actually avoid engaging in any or very little, you know, anything can be brushed off as a, as a rumor that lacks credibility. I, I basically don't bother with, you know, there's all kinds of stuff I could talk about if, if, that, if I did that. Um, uh, no, I, I, could, I could, you know, under the heading unsubstantiated rumors, you know, I could say, well, there's this, and there's this, and there's this, and there's this, and there's this. You know, I've heard this. I don't know whether it's true or not, but, but this is what I've heard. And, you know, you might want to look into that and try to determine if it is true. Because, after all, the uh, fourth principle of Unitarian Universalism calls for a free and responsible search for truth and meaning. And so, you know, if you do hear a disturbing rumor, you know, you might want to uh, try to determine whether it's true or not, especially if, if it is true that it's uh, very problematic. Um, so who are we got? Shoshana here. Got uh, David Roller, the husband of the minister. It looks like Diane Roller in the background. So yeah, it looks like they're going to do their little... Uh, procession into the church thing that they've been doing since uh, the fall of last year. I'm not sure who this older gentleman is. And we got somebody arriving in a wheelchair. Um, make room for him. Just uh, show the signs to... So there's Shoshona. Shoshona in the red uh, coat or the burgundy coat is uh, one of the Unitarian Universalists that's been... Uh, directly involved in erasing my uh, chalk slogans that protest against uh, Unitarian Universalist uh, cover-up and denial of such despicable crimes of pedophilia and rape. Well, you got some people coming this way. I don't know if they're coming to attend the church or not, but uh, more than half a dozen young people. Well, she'll see. Looks like somebody's shivering. And it looks like they are coming to the Unitarian Church of Montreal. Welcome to the Unitarian Church of Montreal, where they ignore the uh, misuse of blasphemy law by atheist Unitarians to cover up and hide such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers. Reverend Diane Rollert, whose hand you are shaking right now, is an outrageous hypocrite who has, to date, never spoken out against the Unitarian Universal Association's misuse of blasphemy law in clergy sex abuse cover-up legal bullying that seeks to hide such despicable crimes of pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers such as Reverend Mac Wallace Mitchell to name one. So well done uh, Diane Rollert for being totally complicit in the Unitarian Universalist Association's uh, Misuse of Canada's blasphemy law in efforts to hide such despicable crimes as pedophilia rape committed by Unitarian Universalist ministers. But this would not be the only perver perversion of justice that uh, Reverend Diane Rollard is involved in. In fact, she's been involved in her own personal perversions of justice. So it looks like they're going to uh, head into church. But anyway, there's Shoshona. Shoshona has been actively involved in. Uh, erasing my chalk slogans that protest against the Unitarian Universalist Association's misuse of blasphemy law. So she's a knowing and willful participant in the cover-up and denial of uh, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape committed by certain Unitarian Universalist ministers. And you know, one of the things I really like about you know, Reverend Diane Rollard and other Montreal Unitarians is how they're totally oblivious to these things. They just 
pretend, uh, you know, nothing's happening. Pretend nothing's wrong, everything's fine. Kiss your uh, parishioners coming to the church. Pretend that uh, no child has ever been sexually abused by a Unitarian Universalist minister. Pretend that uh, the Unitarian Universalist Association's misuse of blasphemy law is perfectly acceptable. That uh, covering up and hiding uh, pedophilian rape is something to laugh about. Yeah. Um, Yeah, talk about your gloves. Talk about your gloves. Just forget about the fact that uh, Unitarian Universalists misuse blasphemy law to hide pedophilian rape and various other injustices and abuses uh, that Unitarian Universalists are guilty of. Yeah, just truly pathetic uh, hypocrisy on the part of uh, Reverend Diane Rollert and her husband David Rollert, who has also erased my chalk slogans at protest against the Unitarian Universalist Association's uh, misuse of blasphemy law. So he's a, he's a direct participant in cover-up and uh, denial of pedophilia rape committed by uh, Unitarian Universalist ministers. Um, so yeah, basically we got four pretty uh, pathetic uh, hypocrites uh, standing outside the uh, Unitarian Church of Montreal here having a nice little chit chat about uh, subjects uh, that are innocuous. So uh, yeah, just pretend nothing's wrong, pretend everything's hunky-dory with your uh, rather messed up religious community. Uh, so here comes Shoshone again coming out. So uh, Shoshone is I do believe involved in the Religious Education Committee. Um, but not, oh no, Shoshona is actually, it goes beyond that. Shoshona, I believe, Shoshona is a chaplain. So Shoshona can uh, perform weddings and such like. Uh, okay, somebody's a cyclist. But uh, yeah, Shoshona there in the burgundy coat and. Uh, blue and white striped uh, 